Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome to an MX vs. ATV All Out Whip Tutorial where today I'm going to try to talk you through a couple of the different whip options slash sequences you can kind of throw down in MX vs. ATV All Out. And before I even start, I'm not the best. Don't even think that I'm the best. I'm not even trying to say I'm the best. I'm only trying to help you guys out with some of these whips and just explain my process on how I do it, okay? So let's start off with the simple standard whip, okay? It's, it was a hard trait for me to learn, but it's pretty simple once you actually kind of sit down and figure it out. You just have to, I think, put the time in. But basically, this is what happens. So as I come up to the takeoff, and I'll slow this down, both sticks go one direction, and then I let go of the left stick and swivel the right stick down and back across. I turn the left stick again right there just to get it to help come back a little bit more, just help with the turning aspect of it a little bit. But basically what you want to do is when you take off, you want to turn both sticks in the same direction, but pretty quickly release the left stick and then just focus on using the right stick to help with everything else. So that swivel motion is what's going to bring you back around. It's what kind of resets the bike and it helps you recenter the bike when you start leaning it back the other way. Again, that's kind of a feel thing that you have to get used to. Here's a couple other of those same whips. Um, this one you'll be using the most, so I mean, obviously we, I would recommend getting used to it, but that's how I do it. The next one I wanna show you is how I do scrubbing. There's many different ways to scrub. This is not by any stretch of the imagination the only way you can do it, but it's the way I do it. Um, I know it doesn't look super like a scrub, but here's what happens. So on the takeoff, again, both sticks going one way, but immediately left stick shooting, or I'm sorry, right stick shooting back across so that it sways the body back up over the top of the bike. And the left stick kind of follows it, like I'll kind of sway it back with it and then little subtle corrections here at the end. But it's really about that right stick um, getting off the lip with a scrub right there and then immediately coming back with a little swivel motion back across the bike using the left stick to kind of sway the bars and move the bike just a little bit not too much and then once you get it centered just making subtle adjustments that's how I do a scrub some people do it different that's just my opinion of it right there the next one I'm going to show is a turn down whip which is really just an extended version of a scrub like it's like taking a scrub and just doing it bigger or harder or taking my version of the scrub but basically you take off both sticks one direction and immediately start swiveling it back, but then hold it there. Hold the, hold the right stick um, to the left and the left stick to the right or vice versa in order to keep the bars turned down like you're doing a turn down and the body will be on top of the bike like it'll be kind of sitting on top of it, but you'll see it start to sway back across. It's a very Jared McNeil-esque type whip. Um, like I said, it's really just an extension of my scrub. Nothing super special about it. Um, that's just how I do it. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you guys is an oppo whip. This is one of the cool features that they added because we've never really had oppo whips doable in many games before this. It's not the biggest oppo whip. I'm not claiming to have the big ones, but basically sticks away from each other or in towards each other, depending on which way you want to do. And then use the left stick to start bringing it back and the right stick you'll kind of swivel around across the bottom as if you were going to be doing a standard whip, but that's how you bring it back. Like you're all the way out and then use a standard whip to bring it back so sticks away from each other left stick comes in and then swivel that right stick back around towards each other and then just kind of use subtle motions to fix it um it's the same effect if you go the opposite direction and yeah that's how you oppo whip this is a turn up whip which is basically an oppo whip with just a little bit more of like a backwards motion used uh, you see a lot of Axel Hodges uh, whips look like these these days, but uh, basically kind of the same idea sticks away from each other, but you'll notice the right stick here is pointed down a lot more than it was on the oppo whip, so that gets the front end high, and then pretty much like a similar motion going on here. Not so much the swivel with the right stick, more of just uh, correcting subtle things here, but again, the kick up so that it gets the front end high, using that left stick to slowly bring the bike back, and then um, little subtle motions with the right stick to help the bike center and then bring it all the way back around. So that's how I do a turn up whip and that is how I do several different whips in MX versus ATV All Out. I hope this helped. If it did, then that's great. If it didn't, well, I hope you continue to try to figure it out on your own because I think this game's pretty fun and it's got some cool aspects 
but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. So long for now.